We're filming. Hi, how are you? Tommy from Tommy Tanks, and today we're going to be talking about signet ring cancer. And providing a little update on what we're doing and the treatments. But we want to start off by saying we were in a place where we had no idea what to film. Yes. And we checked our email, and we saw another email from someone. I don't know if she's okay with sharing the name, so we won't say the name, but... Yes. It was her husband was diagnosed with signet ring cancer, and it means a lot to us that she reached out. Yes, it does. It, it, it's very important because you know it's very rare. It's a very rare cancer, it's, and it's a very aggressive cancer. And um, and by the way, June will be one year. And remember what they said? Well, Tom, you got six weeks to six months tops to live. Well, we're going on a year, and I feel wonderful. And as you can see, I have all my hair back, right? And it's still growing in. What I don't have is any hair on my legs. <laughs> so I'm sorry, women, but I don't have to shave. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm nice and clean. Look at that, baby. Oh my God. You cannot get legs like that, I'll tell you. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so the, the biggest key is when you have it or where you are, right? is you have to have a positive attitude never feel sorry for yourself because you know what it can happen to any, any of us um and i tried all these diets and all this new wave and all this stuff that you know people oh do this to help it'll help it'll help you know what um it probably does help it probably helps a lot of people but it wasn't helping me right to a point like I, I'm not eating candy bars and chocolate bars all the time but once in a while I'll have a chocolate bar but you know what I find um actually that's that's a bad way of saying something if I eat chocolate it bothers my mouth I love chocolate but if I eat chocolate it bothers my mouth it's, it's something in chocolate that doesn't agree with me now that could be the uh I'm on this new drug that they're giving me um what's that one they're giving me again Immunotherapy. Immunotherapy. So right now you're not. He's. You're not on. I'm not chemo. on chemo. I haven't been. I haven't been on chemo for, gosh. A couple, like a month or two. No, more than that. It's been a while. Since it's been like been three, on... maybe three or four months or five months. No. Are you sure? Yes. It seems. That, I guess you know what no. the thing is. Well, this is my second term on this, so it's six. No, it's gonna be. This is gonna be going on to. Two. Two months maybe. Two, Okay, maybe longer than that. I'm not yeah. sure. You know what's funny? It's, no, I'm no, gonna, it has to be two months. I know. It's two months. I think, well, you know, I'm going to find out. Months. I'm going to find out <laughs> tomorrow. I'm going to find out more. Tomorrow I got to go in. Not for chemo. I'm going for the other one, right? I refuse to take chemo right now. Um, I'm not mixing two drugs together, right? I, I'm doing this This first. This new drug they give me now. I want to do this, and we're going for a CT scan, right? But anyways, getting back to um, help. Yes, I gave my phone number. Uh, if, if there's a problem, they can call me. So uh, if, if you know anybody that has, even if it's, it doesn't even need to be signet ring cancer, just cancer in general, reach out to us. Our email is in um, the And my wife, and my wife is, um, she's a pathologist. Or was, retired. she's retired. So when it comes down to medical, she's a freak, she's a genius. When it comes down to so anything, so reach out to us on email. We'd be more than willing to connect, like through a yeah. phone call or whatever. And um, my wife's smart, so she and she helps us out, and she can tell me what's going on. And if you have a problem, she can sometimes she'll answer to help us answer your question, right? But the biggest key was again, positive attitude, right? Um, don't look at dying as a sin. Like, don't look at dying. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. Look at it as an adventure. Right, we're gonna be, we're we're all gonna pass away eventually. But if you look at it this way, if they say you got six weeks or six months or or a week or whatever they say to you, right? Look at it this way: you live one day at a time, okay? And that one day can last an awful long time. Because when the doctor said I had six weeks to six months, I look at six months. That's a long time, six months to me, because I live one day at a time. Always have, always will. So, um, to me, I said, well, that's a long time. But it's been a year almost. It's been a, a year. year. Yeah. And even the doctors are looking at me a puzzle because they can't take my stomach out. They can't do nothing because it's on the outers, right? So, but, but it's not growing. 
Like, I mean, it's not... So, right now, I'm you're on not... immunotherapy. Yeah. Um, just on it. You've been a, two months, about. And then we have a CT scan when? On the... Tw on the... The 10th at 9.30 in the morning. On the 10th at 9.30? June 10th, sorry. Okay. And so... That's what we're going to see if the immunotherapy is working or not. Yeah. Now... The side effects of the chemo, the side effects of this new therapy, okay? Now, you got to consider it. It's not really a side effect. It is, but you know what? If someone's going to sit there and tell you that you got six weeks or six months to live, but we're going we're gonna to zap you. We're going we're gonna to overload you with chemo, which they did. They, they blasted me for six months and even said to me that, you know, we're killing you with this stuff, right? And I'm going back smiling. Give me some more, right? Do what you got to do, right? And then finally it got to the point at the last straw. My, my, my feet were paralyzed. My hands are paralyzed. Like pins and needles, that's from the chemo. Certain types that will make your hands go that way. It kills the nerve endings. Well, I've had that for years. It's, it, it, it's painful a bit. But, you know, you get used to it. But it gets in your mouth. Mouth sores. That is the worst in the world. Hard eating, but you gotta force yourself to eat, and you gotta go buy it. You gotta, you know, you got it. I take a um, when it got really bad. I tried the magic mouthwash. It wasn't helping me too much. I was take uh, this other mouthwash I was taking, and then my doctor um, told me to use a steroid cream for your mouth and your gums. So I put it in there, and it really helped a lot. It took down a lot of the uh, ulcers right the steroid cream so um, if you need to know what steroid cream it is I can let you know um, and or ask your doctor so but otherwise okay my feet are killing me all the time when I'm walking like it feels weird my hands are weird I can't feel things like it's I can do what I want to do but I'm you know it's something the side effects you're getting but I'm still alive <laughs> and I feel great so can I live with this of course I can so right. I guess after the 10th, the week after the 10th, we'll post a video on the results of what the, um, yeah. so two months or whatever it was, yes. just on, yeah. I don't know, we'll see. Like how I'm getting a lot of CT scans on this, right, which is I want, because if I'm, if I'm trying a new drug, I want to see what it's doing. I don't want to see a drug that's, you know, if it's, I don't so, want to. So I mix. mean, the, so far it looks like the immunotherapy has been less intense than the, it's like livable. Yeah. It's livable. And um, and if it works, then that's great. So we're gonna find out on the tenth, and we'll let you guys know about and that. And this is this is what it's supposed to do. This new drug. And it's new in Canada. It's not new in the states. They've been having it for the last three years in the states. What it does, it takes the shield down from your cancer, and it teaches your immune system to fight the cancer. So that's what it does. It actually is teaching your immune system to fight the cancer that's there. Now, I'm 64. I have stage four, right? And um, I don't feel like it. I don't feel, um, I don't actually tell you the truth. No one knows I have cancer. When they know, I tell them I have it, they, they can't believe it. So you don't, you know, you don't look like it. You don't feel like it. You don't talk like it. Well, that's the whole key. If you feel sorry for yourself, Give yourself five minutes to mourn, but, you know, like, feel sorry for yourself as first. For five minutes a day, that's okay. Any more than that, it's going to, you will die. you got to fight this with a positive attitude, and you got to feel happy about yourself, right? And you got a great family behind you supporting you. That's what counts. That, and a good doctor and good nurses. And remember, these nurses work really hard, so really appreciate what they do, right? The nurses really work hard. They get a lot of, you know negative stuff but you know they, they they do their job a lot right the doctors do a great job too i'm not saying the doctors don't either but i mean i'm saying these nurses they work hard for what they for what they do right they do so appreciate the nurses and don't be nasty to them always be nice no matter what remember they got to deal with it they're dealing with things too they see a lot of stuff that we don't see and you know so just do that so we're gonna let this go anyways thank you for the email um, and I'm sorry, if, I don't know when it was put out, but we've been we, busy. We, 
we haven't been checking the emails, but we are going to start checking them yeah, more. Yeah, we're going to start checking more. Because yes. what happened, the problem is we had a, a tornado go through. So we've been dealing with that. And we've been taking care of this ourselves. Right? So that's... And, and things are getting So we'll put this back. video first. Yeah. There's going to be another video coming later on. It's going to be about what we're doing around here and why we haven't been able to film, really. Yes. Um, so we'll put this one out first, though. We'll so. put them right after each other. Put them both out together. We're going to put both videos out. One's no, on the house. No, we're not going to do that because I don't have... We're going to do it after. Just so like... I don't want to wait a week. I just want to put them both... We'll put two out this week. She, she always says, oh, let's do it once a week. I said, well, if we got it out, we'll we put, should put it out. We'll put two out this week. Yeah, because we're getting behind... We're way behind schedule. Like, we're way advanced because we're what we're doing. Yeah, we'll right. put two out this week. Oh, yeah. I'll have to see that to believe it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. James, have a great day. Bye, Bye for now.